Welcome to our new video. For the past six months, we have been using Linux Mint 21.1 as our primary operating system. It is where we have installed all of our essential tools, including several virtual machines for testing purposes. However, with the recent release of Linux Mint 21.2, codenamed Victoria, it is time for us to upgrade. Join us as we perform the upgrade on camera and see how it goes. Stay tuned! The first step in the upgrade process is to check for any available updates to Linux Mint 21.1. According to the Linux Mint Update Manager, there are no updates available. However, just to be sure, we will also check for updates using the terminal. Sometimes the update manager may not report new updates while the command line does. In this case, there are no updates available even when using the terminal. So we can proceed to the next step. Before performing any upgrades in Linux Mint, we always revert our desktop and icon themes to their default states to avoid any potential issues or conflicts. We have installed several additional icon themes and one desktop theme. So let's open the Teams app and restore the default themes. We will also change our desktop background to one of the pre-installed wallpapers provided by the Linux Mint team. Now that we have restored the familiar Linux Mint 21.1 stripes, it's time to remove all of the additional icons and desktop themes. With that done, we can move on to the next phase of the upgrade process. We open the Update Manager again and initiate the upgrade process. You can read through the accompanying text if you wish, but for the most part it's just a matter of clicking Next a few times. When prompted, enter your administrative password to authorize the start of the upgrade procedure. The manager will first download and then install any available system upgrades. However, it appears that there are even more package files that need to be updated and installed. The operating system has been successfully upgraded and we need to restart our computer for the changes to take effect. After restarting our system, we can see from the System Info app that we are now running Linux Mint 21.2. In the Themes app, we can see that the Mint Y Dark icon theme is selected. However, it appears that these icons are actually from GNOME's Advaita theme. It seems that there was some confusion between these to themes during the upgrade process. In this new version of Linux Mint, the Themes app has been simplified. Users can now choose between different desktop styles such as mixed, dark and light and select from a range of colors. The default icon themes no longer feature stripes and have a flatter and more modern appearance. As with every new release of Linux Mint, Victoria comes with a new set of desktop backgrounds. Let's take a look at some of them. Linux Mint now looks even more polished and cohesive. Great job! It continues to offer a classic and familiar desktop experience. Another new feature is that users can now resize Linux Mint's start menu. Another addition in this latest version of Linux Mint is that tooltips are now colored according to the selected desktop theme color. 
In this video we have already discussed some of the changes to the look and feel of Linux Mint 21.2. However, it's worth mentioning that this new version offers even more options for customizing the appearance of your desktop. Within the Themes app you can access advanced settings to choose from a range of icon and desktop themes and colors. There are options to suit all tastes, from classic to modern. While Linux Mint is still not using certain modern technologies, such as the Wayland Display Server Protocol, the Linux Mint team has yet added support for gestures in this latest version. Gestures are now supported on touchpads, touchscreens and tablets. Additionally, Linux Mint 21.2 features the Linux kernel 5.15 and is based on the Ubuntu 22.04 long-term support package base. So, have you tried Linux Mint 21.2 yet? What do you think of it? Did we perform the upgrade process correctly? Is there anything else you would have done differently? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like share it with others and subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot to us. See you next time.